All right, got it. Damn, no Charles Wade in here. Was worth a shot, but being rich and famous and all, I guess he's got a hidden number. No hit for Wade Industries either, but it was kind of a long shot for them to have an office in this small county anyway. I should try to get a hold of him some other way. Nah, nothing like that in here. Just a phone. Must be a popular model. We have the same one at the dorm. McConnell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. Do you know anything about what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? I know that he was no longer stationed here at the base at that time. He'd left the Air Force decades earlier. But as a Conwell Springs citizen, sure, I've heard the rumors just like everybody else. How he was found by the sheriff all messed up, walking out of the woods with some kind of unexplained brain damage. Any theory as to what he was doing out there? I'm afraid not, ma'am. But I'm positive that it had nothing to do with this base or our operations here. Okay. What can you tell me about his service at McConnell? Well, Joseph Rain is a legend around here. His pile of metals weighs more than my car. I was fortunate enough to meet him before he suffered his injury, and I must say, what an inspiring man. I'm positive that he would have made general if he'd stuck around. Any idea of why he quit? He looks so happy in the pictures from the war. Oh, your family, ma'am? Granddaughter. Well, then I'm sorry for your loss. I heard about his recent passing. Appreciate it, buddy. So, about him quitting. I shouldn't speak ill of the dead, but some say the war broke him. PTSD. Me? I don't think so. When I met him, he had this aura about him, like he wasn't afraid of anything. Maybe it was his guilt. He ended a lot of lives, but that's just me speculating. Gotcha. Thanks for the thoughts. What can you tell me about McConnell Air Force Base? This is one of the oldest Air Force bases in the U.S., established during World War I. The main purpose of it is to train fighter pilots. The McConnell Flight School is well-renowned all around the country. In the late 80s, the school started accepting a limited number of civilian applicants due to the high demand. Some of the most famous dogfighters in U.S. history, such as Ethan Fireball Jenkins, Joseph Vigilante Rain, and Brett Xavier Myers trained at this very base. Charles Wade, the great industrialist, did too. Some claim that many of his revolutionary ideas came from the former chief mechanic here, the late Niles Bloom. Interesting. Thanks for the history lesson. I don't see a reason to ask him about that. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. But what if it was a matter of life and death? Ma'am, if you're in a life-threatening situation, I suggest you call 911. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles, he has explicitly... Is there any way you... No can do. I can I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Nice try. You know what caller ID is? You can clearly see that you're not calling from the station. Goodbye. Damn, I can't pull that off if I call from here. McConnell Air Force. Hi. Sure thing, ma'am. Do you recognize the aviator call sign, Cocky? Afraid not, ma'am. I know all the call signs here, and I'm positive it's not one of them. This isn't current, though. It might have been used as early as World War II. Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't keep any official records of call signs. The only option I can think of is to get a hold of somebody who was around back then. Any suggestions? The only person I can think of who is still alive would be Charles Wade. All right, thanks. My pleasure, ma'am. Anything else I can help you with?
All right, that's all. Goodbye, ma'am. Can I help us? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. You're hey. Hi there. Uh, could you distract Lenny again? Sure, I needed to puke again anyway. Good to know. Guess what? He's having some kind of fit in there. Not again. Here we go again. Hmm, maybe there's something in here about that drowning. Nope, looks like I'm gonna need her name. Wondering if you had time to answer a few questions? Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Hmm. I can see that you're actually calling from the station. You say you're a cop. You don't sound like a cop. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just because I'm a woman, right? Women don't belong in law enforcement? Is that what you're saying? That's so sexist. Now, that's hardly what... Do you have any idea what I have to go through every day? Nobody takes me seriously. The dirty looks, the sexual innuendos, I've... Relax, okay? I'll check the files. It's 555-7641. Thanks, buddy. What really happened to you that night, Grandpa? I don't have anything to say about that. There has to be a way to find out who she was. I know when she died. Maybe that can help somehow. Charles Wade. I don't know how, but I will talk to you one way or another. I wonder who this cocky person really is, and why he needed Grandpa's help so desperately. Nah, I should use this time to poke around.
right, this is the right date. Looks like her name was Lily Myers. I should try to get a hold of her family. what that kid is doing here all alone. A little boy, maybe five or six years old. Hey kid. Hi yourself. What are you doing? None of your business. Huh, I like you kid. You're not here alone, right? Where's your mom? Oh, she's around. I don't see her. You must be blind or something. I'll go look for your mom, okay? Don't go anywhere. Whatever. The grave is brimming with flowers. I'm gonna find out what happened to you, Grandpa. I promise. No reason to go in there. found his mom. Sheriff, what's the deal with that bum? What's wrong? Hey. Hi there. Uh, could you distract Lenny again? Sure, I needed to puke again anyway. Good to know. Guess what? He's having some kind of fit in there. Not again. Here we go again. Okay, there's gotta be something in here about Lily Meyer's death. Okay, what do we have here? Looks like somebody did a Virginia Wolf. I wonder if there's more to it. Nah, I should use this time to poke around. I got the key already. I don't think I need to mess with that anymore.
mind if not a I found out that the drowned girl's name was Lily Myers. Ring a bell? Oh, yes. Oh, how could I forget? Sue, Jack, oh, and their children, Lily and Nathan. Do they still live around here? Mother and son do. I, I see them in town from time to time. They live somewhere near the lake. But not the father. Jack, was it? No. He disappeared not long after Lily took her own life. I see. Do you know how I can reach the family? Not really, dear. Like I said, they tend to keep to themselves. I don't see a reason to ask her about that. I don't want to show her that. See you later, Grams. Take care, dear. been dead for two decades. I could try to find someone in her family, but I'll need a full name. All right, found an address. Rain. I'm calling for Charles Wade. He doesn't live here anymore. What's this about? What do you want with my father? I'd just like to have a quick word with Mr. Wade. It's about my grandfather, Joseph Rain. You're 20 years late, girl. My father has neither time nor energy to deal with you people. But... This conversation is over. Unless my father explicitly says he wants to talk to you, it's not going to happen. What a stuck-up, overclass witch. Well, she hasn't heard the last from me. I'm going to talk to that old man one way or another. Conwell Lake, where Lily Myers met her demise. Oh, gee, I would, but I forgot my swimsuit at home. It's totally overflowing with cigarette butts. Somebody around here is a chain smoker. We have something in common. Good to know. degrees. Not too chilly, thankfully. It doesn't belong to me. I don't want to take it without a good reason. I can see someone moving inside. name's Rain. Kathy Rain. Joseph's girl. The one they sent away. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Well, what do you want? I had some questions about your daughter, Lily. Well, you know what? I don't have any answers, girl. Lily was precious. Special. Lily died. That's all there is to it. My grandfather came to see you, right? To ask about her? Maybe he did. I don't see how that's any of your business. I'm not asking for much, Mrs. Myers. Then clearly you have no idea what it's like losing a child. Goodbye.
She looks pretty annoyed with me. Stop it! I'm still here and will be until you agree to talk to me. Enjoy a night curled up in the leaves, then. Stop it! I'm not leaving until I get some answers. Bite me! Stop it! I deserve a few moments of your time. What you deserve is a slap in the face. Stop it! That combination makes no- Stop it! I don't want to show her that. I don't want to show her that. Stop it! I don't want to show her. I don't want to show That combo. I'm not leaving until I get some answers. Bite me! I can see someone... It's the Catmobile, my custom chopper bike. Plenty of gas in the tank. She was born a 76 Coralie Motors but there aren't many original parts left. It took me a couple of years to make her perfect. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. I don't need to ask him that now. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Do you know the Myers family? Supposed to live somewhere near the lake? Aren't they the ones whose daughter drowned a long time ago? Yeah, that's right. Might recognize them if I saw them, but that's about it. I don't want to show him. Hey, Lenny, do you recognize these men? Not really. Sorry. Hey, Lenny, do you remember anything about a girl drowning around here? Yeah, I remember my mom telling me about that. I was like six at the time, though. Do you remember her name? Oh, man. Not really. I was so little. I think it was something with an L. Linda? Laura? Something like that. All right. I'll keep looking. I probably shouldn't. Well, gotta go. See ya. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. I don't need to ask him that. I don't need to ask him that now. I don't need to ask him that. I don't need to ask him that. I don't need to ask him that. I don't want to show him that. He's new in town. I don't think he knows those men. That's all for now. Good. Hey. Hey. 
Hi there. Uh, could you distract Len? Sure, right. Good to know. Guess what? He's having. <sighs> Here we go again. message in here, but I'm not sure what. I think I'll sleep on it and try to figure out something tomorrow. for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Well, gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. That doesn't need unlocking. Join me for a smoke, Mrs. Myers? Well, um, I'm gonna have to think about it. What brand? Coralie Sinters. Extra long. You got taste. I'll give you that. Well, I suppose one smoke can hurt. And that's when he realized it was his own bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh, now that was a good one. <laughs> you know what, Kathy? You're okay. Sorry for being such a cranky old bag before. I get a short fuse when I run out of smokes. Now, that's an understatement. Good thing I had my morning smoke, otherwise we would have had a fist fight on our hands. <laughs> oh, it's getting chilly. Why don't we head inside? Sure, let's go. <laughs> 